do it. Yeah, no. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So I didn't do it for the last start, but it's gonna be the last drop. What is good y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, this is the last drive in Mamba. I know a lot of you guys are going to be sad, a lot of you guys are going to be upset, but honestly nobody's going to miss this car more than I am, you know what I'm saying? But I will explain more in the video talking about why I made the purchase and, and whatnot, but this video here is basically why I sold the car. Um, no, it's not actually. This video is the last drive in the car. So, with that being said, y'all, we got about an hour drive to the dealership. I'll see y'all there. Damn, man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Today is hella bittersweet. I must, I must be honest. Just because, man, like, I've put so much into this car in such a short amount of time. I've literally only had the car for a little over half of a year now. I mean, a year and a half. Half of a year and a half now. Made a year in January. Um, we're now in August. So, a little bit over a year and a half. But, as you guys, I, I believe y'all can see on that odometer. We are at 105,774 miles, man. That's a lot, you know what I'm saying? And as you guys may or may not know, um, I've touched on this before, but if you guys are new to the channel, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm J.I., this is Mamba. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, drop a comment in the comment section down below what you think I got. I'm still not 100% sure if this video is actually gonna end up dropping before or after the reveal but if it drops after the reveal go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think i got if it drops uh after the reveal then you know what i'm saying hey then you guys just got lucky and, and you know what it is so don't get to commenting what you think it is because you already know what it is you know what i'm saying but yeah man the car has been great to me you know, I had one major hiccup with this car, and that was with the transmission. Um, the transmission actually ended up taking a shit on me. Literally, like my, I want to say like month, first or second month into ownership of the car. If you guys are new to the channel, then you don't know that. Um, so this is a brand new transmission from Chevy. Has the warranty from Chevy. You know what I'm saying? Lifetime uh, warranty, I believe. That was like the only main issue that I had with this car. Um, other than that, I really haven't had any issues, man. Um, I like, like I said, bro. Like I love this car. I love it to death. Don't get me wrong. However, it's just time. It's, it's time to switch it up. And, and numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm gonna touch. I know I'm gonna touch bases on this in the, the video of why I got the numbers don't lie so if you guys are really interested man oh damn I just said what I got so now I really gotta drop this video after <laughs> after I dropped the review <laughs> or I could just bleep that out J.I. you know what to do anyway um, that's crazy anyway yeah man don't get me wrong I would love to keep this car. It's just, it has so many miles on it right now. And the market for used cars is ridiculous. Don't mind that noise, it's my water bottle. Stay hydrated, kids. It's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, might as well go ahead and sell the car while I still can. Am I gonna miss this car? 
Hell yeah. Am I gonna miss being on air? Hell yeah. But it's Somebody was trying to slam on their brakes. I don't know if you guys heard that. But it sounded like somebody was like slamming on their brakes. Like they was trying to run the red light and then see me. Ooh, my heart kind of just sunk because like I've already paid the down payment on this car. So it's mine. So like if this car gets in an accident, I'm kind of fried. But anyway, um, yeah, man, this car was great to me. Let me close that. I don't know how the wind noise is. But this car was great to me, man. Honestly, I really do love it. I am going to miss it. I really am. But it's just the miles are up there. So it's got to go. You know what I mean? It served its purpose. Um, the miles are only going to get worse because I just extended my school year um, so that I can get my degree, my associate's degree. So, yeah, man. Like, with that being said, I'll still be going to and from school and all that. So it's just... It makes the most sense for what I'm trying to do. As you guys know, I'm trying to get that ZL1. You know what I'm saying? It's it's been very hard because I don't want a fifth gen. I want a sixth gen. So it's been very hard to find a sixth gen in my price range that I actually like with the transmission that I want and, and all that, man. I'm a very picky car buyer, bro. As you should. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you're asking for too much in a car or whatever. Bro, if you're gonna pay for something, get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Get what you want. Don't settle it if you're gonna pay for something. It's just, it's, it, that's the best advice I can give you, bro. Get exactly what you want and don't settle for anything less. So if I'm gonna pay for something, I'm going to get what I want. Mamba in the cut, you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. No more carbon on the dash. I'm definitely taking my official full option. Um, you know what I'm saying? Air freshener, I'm definitely taking that train. With the red carbon on the shift knob is staying, on the dashboard is staying, the bags are staying. That's one of the biggest things that hurt. Really, I ain't even gonna lie, but the bags are staying on the car. Those of you who are wondering why are the bags staying on the car, because when you get bags on a fifth gen Camaro, the rear um, top hats for the springs have to be reused on the bags. So with that being said, that the tunnel. You know, one last the tunnel run, you feel me? The top hats on the springs have to be reused for the bags. Now with that being said, I cannot put them back on the stock suspension. I would have to go buy a whole new rear end basically for the stock uh, suspension as far as the springs and the top hats and all that extra stuff goes so it just didn't make any sense to me personally i was like you know what it's a little lost but what i'm getting is definitely a dub so you know sometimes you gotta take your l's on the chin charge it to the game and keep all right y'all so literally one year later i'm driving past the dealership that i bought mama from Pick up my shit. Talk about game changer. All right, y'all. We pulling up to the dealership right now. Probably got my shit sitting in the front again. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going. I'm gonna miss Mamba. I really am. That's some great memories, as I said for the thousandth time today. One hour later. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see this hole in the goddamn sun time. So this is gonna be my last time airing out, bro. My last time airing out, bro. Holy shit. My last time doing this shit. At least in that car. <laughs> yeah, that's what your car's about to do. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Mamba checking out for the last time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.